Hello friends, welcome to Colonial Park United Church of Christ, where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. We're glad that you've joined us for this service in the Taizé fashion, full of silence, prayers, readings, and chanting. You are invited to have a candle in front of you for there's a time in the service where we light candles on your behalf and we pray closer to the light and you will be invited to do so and may wish to do so in your own home. You're also invited that the, at the times of extended silent meditation to pause this recording so that you can take as much time as you wish in silent prayer. Let us begin. O oh God, for your love for us, warm and brooding, which has brought us to birth and has opened our eyes, we give you thanks. For your love for us, wild and freeing, which has awakened us to the energy of creation, to the sap that flows, the blood that pulses, and the heart that sings, we give you thanks. For your love for us, compassionate and patient, which has carried us through our pain, wept beside us in our sin, and waited with us in our confusion. We give you thanks. For your love for us, strong and challenging, which has called us to risk for you, asked for the best in us, and shown us how to serve. We give you thanks. Oh God, we come to celebrate that your Holy Spirit is present deep within us and at the heart of all life. Forgive us when we forget your gift of love. Awaken us to the love that Christ offers and draw us into your presence. Amen.
this time you are invited to pause the recording for a time of silent meditation, resuming when you are ready. Once again, feel free to pause this recording for a time of silent meditation, resuming when you are ready. A reading from Romans 13. Owe no one anything except to love one another for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling of the law. Once again, 
pause for a time of silent prayer for as long as you wish, resuming when you are ready. continuation of the reading from Romans. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now, the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Please take time for silent reflection and meditation and prayer, resuming when you are ready.
Let us join in prayer. Lord, you make your peace shine out in our midst. May our hearts sing your praises forever. Lord, your love comes to liberate our lives. May our hearts sing your praises forever. For the church, your holy communion. Lord, make your face shine upon her. For a road of justice and freedom, for the leaders of nations. Lord, may all nations give you thanks. For all believers, Witnesses to hope, make your face shine upon us. For the victims of injustice and violence, for those who give aid to them, in them your praise forever. For all who give their life because of Christ and the gospel, in them your praise forever. For all you have entrusted to us, in them your praise forever. Hear us now as we pray, as our Savior taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We come to a time where we celebrate the light of Christ, which is also a sign of our identity as Christians, as children of the light. And we live into the commandment that Jesus said, you are the light of the world. May we be that light as we pray closer to the light. I invite you to light the candle there at your home. We will light some candles here on your behalf as we pray and sing together. Thank you. 
Let us join together in prayer. O risen Christ, you go down to the lowest depths of our human condition and you burden yourself with what burdens us. Still more, you even go to visit those who have died without being able to know you. And even when within us we can hear no refrain of your presence, you are there through your Holy Spirit. You remain with us. Now may the Spirit of God who brooded over the waters and brought order out of chaos find a home in our hearts and settle our minds as we sleep that tomorrow we may wake and live to God's glory. Amen.